Yeah, so it's one last touch. Um, what every beautiful uh, sports bike needs is uh, put on the right way. A little duck on the back, I think. Does that look about right? Not sure how much long, uh, how long he'll last, but we'll have a go. Good luck, ducky. Good luck, me. <laughs> Tiny little bird up there. Look at all this noise. Can I see it? This is noise.
All right, beginning of day two. Um, found this fantastic car park, the only car park in the whole town that will accept bikes over one two five. That was a fucking nightmare, but whatever. Um, and I'm gonna head out. Uh, me and the duck. Where is he? There he is. Me and the duck, ready to go. Gonna go and find some black ships today. Yay. Took a wrong turn. I don't know where we are. So there was a little sign there saying turn right if you want to go to um, and it was a strange Japanese it said Anaguchi which means whole mouth um, and I thought what's that um, and now I think I realize why okay so you come down that path and come down to this little bridge and this bridge you think why is this bridge here and then you think oh that's got to be I don't know, 200 foot drop into that. <laughs> If anyone can tell me how they are fishing from the top of a cliff, which is about a 90 foot drop, not, I don't know, 200 foot drop, I've got no idea. Fair play. And this fella needs a helmet as well, it does give you some idea. To be fair though, if he falls off, I don't think the helmet's going to help him much. Yeah, I'll shut the edge. Um, sorry if this is a bit scary. That is, I don't, you can't get any perspective, but that's at least a 200 foot drop. Come on, son. I think he's actually got one. Take them half an hour to really up the mountain. Yep, look at that. 
Look at that. That is something. It's a decent meal there. I guess it's not catch and release. Good on you, bud. I think he dropped it. <laughs> Jump. Yeah, I'm fucking scared. The bridge is moving now. Oh, it's, it's not nice. This is not pleasant. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling a bit sturdier now, thank you. Yes, hi, thank you. Nice. <laughs> Um, I was wrong about that being the end of the path. The path continues, um, and I, it's another, I don't know, 500 metres to a restaurant. I don't know how they got a restaurant up the back there, I don't really know what that means. Um, but to be honest, I've had enough of this incredible natural beauty, and I'm going to go back and get on a motorbike. Goodbye, natural beauty. Nice, I've made it to the final city, that's Shimoda city. Um, the sign says, uh, be careful of falling rocks, so I guess I shouldn't stay here too long. Um, yeah, one of those things. Um, but, I don't know how 
clear that is. Um, I've basically just come all the way along that coastline, um, and that's, I mean, that probably took me 35 minutes, but I've done about two hours the other side of that as well. That's all along the east coast. It's pretty damn cool. Um, gonna go into Shimoda, uh, we'll take a look, and then I'm gonna bugger off home quite quickly. So, yee is Shimoda, which is famous for the black ships, which is quite funny because I can't see any, but what I can see in the distance is a very, very white ship. So, oh, here we go. Pretty impressed with myself. I made it. This is the furthest point on my journey that I'll do in this holiday. Um, this is Shimoda Beach, and um, I don't know if you can see from any of the other pictures, it's the first beach on the coast that has white sand, and it's nice. I mean, all the others have got grey sand, you think it's dirty, it's not, it's just volcanic sand. Whereas this is the nice white stuff. Um, now, this is the place where the black ships also landed. I'm going to turn my camera around. So yeah, this is where the black ships first came to Japan from America. Or, uh, don't ask me all the history because I'll just make it to myself. Um, but I guess those black ships must have been waiting out there um, or getting permission to come aboard, or come to land. And, uh, this is where they first came. So pretty cool. Uh, look it up, Matthew Perry, blah blah blah. Hi hi. Oh, it's pretty nice, man off the bike, I've been riding for three, four hours, and uh, check it out, my boots stripped off in the, uh, stripped off in the convenience store car park, and uh, I'm uh, in my summer attire, yay! Alright, I don't know about going in the water, uh, let's have a look. Uh, of course I've got to take a, stick a dip in the ocean. Bad up, no, no. Bad idea. That's not my tip. Slips off. Take the sound with it. I think tomorrow's going to rain, so I don't think I'll be out on the bike tomorrow. Um, if it doesn't rain, then I might head up to the mountains and get over to Mount Fuji. But if it does rain, I think I'll just uh, might head home early, or I might go and sit in the pool hall and play pool all day. Yeah, let's see how it goes. No Grace. I wish Grace was here.
just actually got talking to somebody, which is pretty good. Uh, an American guy, and of course he's from the base, and uh, he's just informed me um, this is not actually where the black ships landed. Uh, I'm not even in Shimoda yet, I need to get a bit further down to where the ships are. And he should know, uh, given that he's in the military. Uh, just gave me a nice quick history lesson. Um, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> slant on that, given he's from the base. But anyway, uh, right, now I'm running really late and I've got to get, oh, I don't know if I'll bother going down then. I suppose I should. And I think I've probably lost my sandals as well because I left them on the other end of the beach. Let's see what happens. Alright, I've made it to the actual real Shimoda where they landed and they waited to get permission and according to the military guy um, two samurai broke the peace treaty or some sort of broke something vilish that went on the ship oh I don't know I should have to read it I'm gonna read it hi thank you um, but here you go this is the final point of my trip goodbye thank you yay all right cheers guys that's the uh, end of day two of this epic adventure Learned a lot. Don't park your bike on a fucking hill. Because um, trying to get on it. Um, it's pretty tricky. And I uh, dropped the fucking bike. Whatever. So it's going to cost me a few quid. Um, but uh, it's been a blast as usual. Um, and enjoyed every minute of it. You might have guessed I've already had a couple. Um, but to celebrate the end of day two. We got this little bottle of a uh, Yamazaki 12. Oh yeah, um, cost you a couple of hundred quid in the UK for a bottle for a full bottle. Um, save this for special occasions. Cheers, girls. Oh, sorry, that's my uh, pound shop sign. <laughs> uh, I've got 200 quid whiskey in a pound shop glass. That's, uh, that's me. <laughs> Cheers. For the record, this is a phenomenal whiskey.